This is the structure of builder pattern. We will see how this is implemented in PHP source. Here is the class director. It has data item builder. Here is the method set builder. It has parameter builder object and inside this it sets the data item builder with this object. Here is the method construct. It has parameter name variable and inside this it has logic for building the product. So here is the logic for building the product when variable value is product1 and here it has logic for building the product when variable value is product2. So if variable name has value product1 then it calls the method create to create the product and then it calls the build part A and build part B to build the parts of the product. Similarly here if variable name has value product2 then it calls the method create for creating the product and then it calls the method build part C and build part D for building the parts of the product. Here is the abstract class builder. It has abstract methods create build part A, build part B, build part C, build part D. So they will be implemented in their derived classes. Here is the class concrete builder one derived from class builder. It has data item product. Here is the method create inside the method. It creates the object of product one and assigns it to data item product. Here it implements the methods build part A, build part B, build part C and build part D. Here is the method get product. Inside this, it returns the data item product. Here is the class concrete builder to derived from class builder. It has data item product. Here it implements the method create. Inside this, it creates the object of product to and assigns it to data item product. Here it implements the method build part A, build part B, build part C and build part D. Here it implements the method get product. Inside this it returns the data item product. Here is the class product one. It has method use product and inside this it just displays this statement and here is the class product two. It has method use product and inside this it just displays this statement. Okay, we will see how these classes has been used. So here we are creating the object of director and we are assigning to the variable director and then we are creating the object of concrete builder one and assigning it to variable builder1. Here we are calling the method set builder of director where we are passing variable builder1 which has object of concrete builder1. So it will go to the set builder method of director. So it will come here and here you, you can see it's assigning the concrete builder one object to data item builder. Okay. Then it's calling the construct method and here it's passing the value product one. So it will come to the construct method of director here and since the parameter value is product1 so it will come here and it will execute these statements 
for building the product. So it is using this construction logic for building the product. So it calls the method create since builder is concrete builder 1. So it will go to the concrete builder 1 create method. So it will come here. It will create the object of product 1 and it will assign it to data item product. Then it calls the method build part A and build part B. So it will come here. It will execute build part A and build part B for building the part of the product. So the construction logic had, has been used for building the product. So it will come here again. Again it's calling get product method of builder 1 which is concrete builder 1 object. So it will come here and it will return the data item product which has object of product 1. So the return value is assigned to variable prod1 then we are using the method use product of prod1 so it will come here and it will display this and here again we are creating the object of concrete builder 2 then we are setting the builder of director so here the data item builder will be concrete builder 2 and then when we call the construct method where the parameter value is product 2 it comes here here it will execute these statements for building the product so here builder is concrete builder 2 so when we call the method of create it will come here and it will create the product 2 object and it will assign to data item product so after that build part c and build part d method has been called so it will execute the build part c and build part d method of concrete builder 2 for building the part of the product So this construction logic is used for building the product. So now it comes here and the get product method is called. So it will come here concrete builder to get product and it will return the uh, data item product uh, which is product 2. So product 2 object is assigned to product 2 variable and then the method use product is called. So it will come here and it will display this statement. We will run this program and we will see the output. So we can see in this when the use product method is called. So since the uh, product 1 has been created, so it will come here and it will display this.
so this statement has been used for building the product one and when the use product method is called here so it goes here and it displays this as this statement has been used for building product two